The new movie, The Intern, packs plenty of Hollywood star power with Academy Award winners Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro, its Oscar-nominated writer-director Nancy Myers. She's the influential filmmaker who commands some of the biggest talent on the big screen. Identify yourself, soldier! Well, you trip. see, that's the funny thing. I can't have a baby because I have a 12.30 lunch meeting. I'm engaged. I'm getting married. Ah! <laughs> Hello. I'm going to be wearing a frank pleasure to meet you. I assume you'll be wearing a block tuxedo. It is a block tuxedo. Hi, Mary. Hello. How you doing? Oh! Hi. What are you doing? Exfoliating? Yes, I have an intruder in my house. 29 Daniel Thane, Sagaponic. I'm dating your daughter, Marin. She invited me here for the weekend. She's in her room right now, changing. Oh! You're dating my daughter? <gasps> OMG, I thought he'd never leave. I am having an affair with Agnes Adler's husband. <laughs> that is genius. Genius is the word. Meyer's newest leading lady would be the lovely Anne Hathaway. She's known for starring in roles like The Prince's Diaries, The Devil Wears Prada, and Les Miserables. In The Intern, she plays the founder of a fast-growing internet fashion startup. She juggles a young staff, and now she has her very own senior intern. Don't feel like you have to dress up. I mean, we're super cash here. I'm comfortable in a suit if it's okay. No, it's fine. Old school. Exactly. At least I'll stand out. I don't think I need a suit to do that. True. Sure. Well, I think we did it in less than two minutes. I'll wait to hear from you. OK. Want the door uh, open or closed? Doesn't matter. Open, actually. You get used to me. Look forward to it. Anne Hathaway, Nancy Myers. Hello. Hello. I love this movie. That's Thank a funny you. scene where she, he said we did it in two minutes because he has an appointment to see Jules, your character. Mm -hmm. It says, Jules, we'll see you at 3.55. Please be prompt because it's over at 4 o'clock. Yes. So it means <laughs> you had five minutes for that interview. But this is the thing about you, Nancy. Your movies always focus on relationships. And this is not a typical boy-girl love story. And when you think of intern, you don't think of Robert De Niro. Yes, exactly. That was the premise going into it, of course, that I thought it would be funny, funny. you know, to have... Would you like to be an intern anywhere? Yes, for her. <laughs> yes, for her. I'd be very bored. <laughs> no, well, there was something about, you know, a retired, <laughs> a retired person who hates retirement, which right. is what I imagine is going to happen to me. Right. And maybe and going back. To all of us. And yeah, right. And maybe going back into something brand new, like no, a but, startup. No, but you, you focus yeah. on so many people don't focus on what old pe they think old people can't do as opposed to focusing mm. on what they can do. Which yes, I because was a they're nice, not older. That's right. So when you're older, right. you think what can't, you know, you yeah. still feel the same. Yeah, it's true. So. You know, as we saw when we were looking back at some of your works, I think you're the woman people look to for these wonderful stories about relationships. And we still feel that here in The Intern. But what was the impetus for this particular movie? And what really drew you to the role of Jules? Because I heard you say you really related to her, especially about having so many public moments in the spotlight. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to answer this? Well, I've written, uh, you know, sort of my share of romantic movies, and I yes. just... <laughs> yeah. True statement. Yes, a true statement. Yes. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to write something else completely different, but, you know, I was always going to stay in the world of people and relationships. So a friendship movie. I have great friends, great mm. friends. So sort of examining a friendship and a new friendship. So I, they meet like you would in a romantic comedy, yeah. but it's never romantic. Uh, the story is always the point, isn't it? Always, The yeah. script and the story. Yes, and for me, the characters are yeah. the story. So here you've had yeah. Nicholson, there you have De Niro, you've got Hathaway. Yeah. I mean. Well, yes, I like movie stars. You know why? Why? They're the best actors. They're the best actors. That's a good reason. Yeah. <laughs> they know so what do, they get when how you're to working do with De Niro and Hathaway, what is the demand, the imperative from the director? Maybe you should ask her this. Yeah. What does imperative mean? Um, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> uh, you know. In other words, what does, uh, yeah. what does a good director have to do uh, to bring out the best in good actors? Ooh, 
inspire trust. I'd say that's the that's the biggest thing. And you had asked me what is what was it that drew me to this? Well, I've wanted to be in a Nancy Myers movies for as long as I've wanted to be an actress. I'm a huge you've fan. You've tried three Aww. times. You said you, she said it. She's allowed to say. I yes. don't think this is true. This is so <laughs> clear. This is what I Annie said that she's emails. tried three times. I, this yes. is my third time auditioning for Nancy. I finally got the part. Uh -huh. And uh, initially, uh, we didn't see perfectly eye to eye on the character on about every last detail. And we are both people who care about detail. And so, and How did you so, differ? well, I, I thought perhaps it, there should be a more outward and obvious expression of Jules' stress, um, possibly making her a little bit more unpleasant, a little bit more unlikable. And Nancy really showed me that there was strength in showing that she's actually leading from her heart, that she is a good person, not always making the right decisions, messing up publicly, but that it comes from a very, very good place. She's got a lot of potential, and there's a reason why people like working there. Yeah. And I really saw that, and at a certain point I said, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust your vision of this character, which is very different for me, and I'm going to be guided by you through this performance, a performance that now I'm really proud of, so I'm really happy I made that decision. No, I love how you said you're working with Robert Freakin' De Niro. <laughs> your words. And Who he's wouldn't say that? No, I know, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm his I'm middle name. Oh, I think he's awesome, too. And he's playing your intern. Yes. I think the dynamic of that was great fun to watch between the two of you. It was fun to play. Uh -huh. You know, Bob's, he's, he's, he's a quiet man, but he's a very affable one. And um, you know, once I kind of got, once I learned how to breathe in front of him, uh -huh. uh, it, it, I don't know. I just started to feel such great affection and warmth for him. And I don't know if that translated to it, on screen, but he made it easy for. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but he made it easy for both of us, really. Right? Yeah. Well, that like, was my point, Nancy. Yeah. How do you direct Robert De Niro? <laughs> well, you know, having worked with Jack and Meryl and yeah. Annie and Bob, you know, they're formidable people. So what, what I've learned from all of them is they're open. They want to be good in your movie. They, they want to make the same movie as you want to make them. They want to succeed in it. So when you walk over to them, you can tell right away. They lean into you. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, that's, 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 it's, they make it easy for me, really. When I thought about this movie as a whole, though, it seems like there's so many layers. There's commentary on dot-com. There's commentary on, like, work-life balance, if it exists. Mm -hmm. And there's also a lot of commentary about how men perceive high-powered women. Mm. Yeah. How, what, was, what, do you, what did you both want people to walk away with? What was the central message? Well, I'm frankly tired of seeing movies where the woman who's the boss is evil or uptight or just not like a natural, normal. I mean, the women I know that have great yes. jobs yeah. are wonderful. They're I great agree. people. They have big jobs. It doesn't make them a bad person. So we talked about a lot, even in her wardrobe, if something looked too sharp, I said, the audience comes in expecting to see a movie where you're going to be a bitch. Can I say that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. You just did. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so we have to counter that because that's an expectation. And in, 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 I just know it. I just know that's how, what people think. And also, you know, from Devil Wears Prada, there's some people that sort of think now she's that. Tough. Yeah. She's not tough. She's just no, she's, working she's tough, hard. But she's tough in her own way. She's, she's tough when she needs to she's be, strong. but that's not yeah. like that's not her go-to state for everything. No. She's a very um, she's a very amiable person, and she's really passionate about what she does. And um, and she's not getting it totally right yet. There's a mixture of um, confidence and inexperience um, that she, that she's navigating right now. And I think I don't know. I found that very relatable. And there's a twist in the middle. I'll just say <laughs> without spoiling it. Right. Thank, you, guys. Thank it. you, Anne. Thank you so much. Thank you, Good to see you guys. The intern opens nationwide tomorrow.